What's up, guys? Thank you for joining me for another episode. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for your comments. This episode is going to be a little continuation about the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion, part one. And this is going to be specifically about Karen Huger and her literally coming for Giselle and rightfully dragging Giselle Bryant because. If you guys don't recall, Giselle Bryant, she claimed to be Karen Huger's friend. And we all know that Karen over the seasons, she's become a little bit more down to earth because her life, she has experienced some downfalls in the public eye. And honestly, that just makes you a bit more human because none of us are perfect. We all have issues. And she's been married to her husband for a long time. And when you are in business, you go through things financially sometimes. That is nothing that is uncommon. And it's not uncommon to owe some taxes. I mean, that's honestly, you're going to owe taxes. It's just a matter of, are you paying them early? Are you paying them quarterly? Are you paying them yearly? Are you in between accountants, bookkeepers, all these different things or things being reported on time? And sometimes you don't have control of those things, but as much as you would like to, I should say, and stuff just happens. So when Karen's husband went through the tax debt issues, Karen stuck by her man and she didn't have to disclose to everybody on the show what she was going through. She chose not to share a lot of details. And to be honest, I don't blame her. And it's not because she was trying to put on a facade, I believe, of what her life is. I believe a lot of it was because she knows how Giselle is. And out of everybody we know on this show, Giselle has been pretty much the ringleader when it comes to just being mean and hateful towards people and making comments and getting in people's business. And now we know Ashley, when she first got on the show, she was on the first season. She was more like Candace is now. But Ashley was really getting into people's personal business. She talked about Robin's issues. She was sharing Robin's personal business and she was all in Robin's personal business when it comes to Robin's relationship with Juan. So Karen, she wouldn't have any problems like snapping back on somebody, snapping back on Ashley, snapping back on the one who used to be on the show, Sharice. She didn't have any problem doing that, but With Giselle, it seemed to be like another level with this chick. And when it came out that Karen's husband was having the tax issues in his business and he owed some back taxes, okay, big deal. He didn't commit a crime. You owe some back taxes, they add some penalties and some interest to it and you just pay the money back and you can pay back in installments. It is nothing that is uncommon. But when they had a lunch a couple of seasons ago, Giselle was just so nasty when it came to that situation. She had on a t-shirt and on the t-shirt, she had a number of things about Karen and her husband on the t-shirt and she was like backing out and she wanted Karen to read the t-shirt and it had all these ugly things that were written on a t-shirt. It had God bless the Hugers on it, which was supposed to be you know, it wasn't supposed to be, oh, God bless you, but it was supposed to be shysty and shady. And it had tax debt and Uncle Ben and, you know, just things that were not kind towards Karen and her husband. And it was a slap in the face and it was to make fun of the situation that Karen was going through. And they also were questioning her moved moving from Potomac to another house and they were trying to understand why is she moving to this big house and the house isn't furnished and it's not this and it's not that and just a number of different things and you know Karen remembers all of that stuff so to see Karen coming for Giselle on this reunion I was here for it because Giselle was asking for it she's asked for it for many years now and Karen didn't hit her with any low blows She was just being upfront and honest and asking the real questions, the real questions that a lot of us wanted to know. Are you saying that you're dating your ex-husband at the same time where he had someone else pregnant and I believe this is baby number seven at this point? Like these are real questions. Questioning the legitimacy of the relationship. Is this something that is really real? Because it just doesn't seem to be that way. You mean to tell me your business 
is completely defunct just because of COVID? Is it is that the real deal when Target says that they liquidated every Hue Beauty? So I understood where Karen was coming from. Some people may feel like Karen shouldn't have been going there, but I believe that Karen deserved the opportunity to be able to drag Giselle a little bit. I don't know what you guys think about it, but you let me know your thoughts about it. I believe that Karen had every right to join in the questioning. And when Monique pulled out that binder of receipts, it was absolutely amazing. And you know, Giselle says that due to the pandemic, it's been hard trying to see Jamal as, you know, as well as him seeing his daughters and because of the long distance and him living in Georgia. But the show was filmed BC <laughs> before COVID. So what was the excuse for then? You weren't doing a whole lot of traveling back and forth during the show. He wasn't doing a whole lot of traveling to Potomac at least. He seemed to be doing a whole lot of traveling. But that relationship is very questionable and Karen had every right to question and every right to drag because Giselle loves to be in other people's business, but she doesn't want anyone questioning her. And even on the show, when she made the comment, when they were asking, you know, when's the last time you gave a BJ? And Karen said her mouth is retired. Giselle was like, oh my God, like, I don't think Ray wants everybody to know that you're not giving him that type of pleasure. And if you're not doing it, somebody else is. Ugh, okay. Giselle was pretty much letting us know she's taking care of him, but he couldn't be seen on the show. So it's just, it's just a lot when it comes to that situation, but I don't believe that genuine relationship thing that she was talking about. I believe it's fake. I believe it's fraudulent. I believe it's for the cameras. I believe it was for a storyline. Monique exposed it and Karen rightfully was chiming in. I don't believe they were tag teaming. I believe they both had good reasons to come for Giselle in this situation because Giselle has been very disrespectful towards Monique's husband, like she said, calling her husband big boy. And that's not a term of endearment. She's never been friendly towards Monique. She never had a friendly relationship with Monique and her husband. So for her to call this guy big boy is definitely, it's, it's not a term of endearment. It's definitely to make him, you know, look like somebody who is not attractive and and also big boy he's a grown man and Giselle has been disrespectful towards Karen's husband calling him Uncle Ben no Giselle wasn't the only one that's called him that Sharice who's no longer on the show she called him that too but that's not cool you can't come for other people's relationships and then you don't want anyone to question or come for yours period and Jamal Bryan, he apparently cares nothing about clearing his name or anything like that because he he pretty much responded with no response. He did a post on his Twitter account, I believe, or maybe it was Instagram, where he posted a, a meme and he says, give no energy to anything that doesn't add to your joy, align with your purpose, or pay any of your bills. Be at peace. Those are true statements, but in this situation, um, you got some explaining to do. So anyway, guys, you let me know your thoughts on this. Do you agree that Karen had every right to come for Giselle and drag her during this session of the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion? Like you heard what I said, I believe that she had every right to because Giselle has been coming hard for her and like Karen or not, Karen definitely had the right to defend herself. And in this situation, she wasn't bringing in any low blows. She was just coming to Giselle with straight facts. So if Giselle feels like that was uncalled for, or it wasn't anyone's business, then I don't believe that she is, I, I, I don't believe that she is <laughs> in the real world.